you for joining me. I'm so happy that you're here. And if you're looking for a relaxing Baldur's Gate 3 video, you've come to the right place. So this is the second in this kind of little mini-series, with the game dropping soon and probably already out as you're watching this. I am going to be doing a playthrough on my channel, and I wanted your feedback of which character I should play. I put a poll, and it seems that, overwhelmingly, uh, my audience wants me to play an evil character. So, the three options I'm presenting are a succubus, which I made in the previous video, which is a tiefling warlock bard. In this video, I'll be building a pirate-like character who will be a bard. And then in the next video, I'm going to be making a druid. And in the final game, there will be a new origin character called the Dark Urge, where you have a dark urge to murder that you can either embrace or fight. So that will be the third character. But let's get right into this one with the pirate. I went through some of these backgrounds in the last video, and I think I know which one would be the most fitting for a pirate, and I think that would be criminal. You get deception and stealth. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than the legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise will lead you to greater opportunities in the future. But there are some other ones that might also entertainer could almost fit. But, let's see. Folk hero. Yeah, not really. I could almost see... I think soldier. A soldier could also kind of fit. You have trained in the battlefield tactics in combat. Uh, you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat, having served in a militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess. So, I guess mercenary. This could also fit in after surviving a poor and bleak childhood. You know how to make the most out of very little. Using street smarts bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. Deception is probably, I guess, better than proficiency in stealth. So, what I'm basing this character off, I also think this one will be male. I just read a book called Cup of Gold by John Steinbeck, the guy that wrote Grapes of Wrath and Of Mice and Men and all those books. But the first book he ever wrote was called Cup of Gold, and it's a fictional not biography, but like origin story about the pirate Captain Morgan. You might know from the rum, but it's about Henry Morgan. It has a pretty good book, so I want to kind of base this character off Henry Morgan. So I'm going to probably go human. Part of me almost wants to go like gnome or halfling, but for now, I'm going to stick with human. So, in the book, Henry Morgan is from England. So, I'm assuming he is pretty pale. But then he lives in, um, the Indies, which is, I think, the Caribbean. So, he gets some tan, so I guess we will make him... I wasn't that tan. Maybe, maybe that tan. We're gonna make a male. Let's see what we have for faces. I don't 
think this haircut suck. This kind of... I think the facial hair will really help. I kind of... Uh, this guy looks kind of untrustworthy. Let's hear the voices real quick. I kind of like that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do voice one. I'm assuming... I can't remember. I think he has dark eyes. But definitely not that hairstyle. I'm thinking a kind of longer hairstyle. I don't think pirates get haircuts too often. Being kind of like a longer unkempt style. Let's also change the class. So this is going to be a bard. And the um in the full version of the game, there's a third type of bard, I think called the, the School of Swords or something like that. And I think I'll go with that subclass. Okay, this hair looks a bit ridiculous. Maybe something like that, that's more of what I was picturing. Something in this area. Maybe that, that's kind of, maybe with the facial hair. I should have got up a picture of Captain Morgan. Yeah, I'm thinking... Something along those lines. That's kind of giving pirate vibes. Let me, hopefully without banging stuff around and making too much sound. I'm gonna quickly look up a picture of Captain Morgan for reference. Captain Morgan. Let's see, a lot of pictures of bottles of rum. Let's see, is that one? He's blurry on all the labels. Okay, is that... So long hair, mustache, and like a disconnected little chin piece. Something like this, but not exactly. This. Throw on with a better mustache. This is between these two. Let's see if I can find a better hairstyle. I don't really like that hairstyle. That's not too bad of a combo right there. That's a little too much. Not that. If you had a pirate hat, that, that's not terrible. That's <laughs> not a fan of that one. side bangs, that one might almost be good. I could give him the same hair. <laughs> hair is the succubus. Give him the Ariana Grande hair. But I think not. Give him the Karen cut. My mom's name is Karen, by the way. So I feel like I can say that word. Should I go with this hairstyle? That would be uh, funny for cutscenes or this one. Okay, some of these look pretty. <laughs> that could be a little entertaining. Okay, so apparently the hair is the most fun part of this game. I think that's, yeah, I think that's good. 
like the facial hair. Let's give him the black neutral. Give him maybe some like kind of blondish highlights since sure he spends a lot of time out in the sun. That might be too much. I don't really like how the highlights, how they like implement them now. His hair is just like kind of gray. some highlights, maybe a little bit of graying. I think he ages kind of fast in the book from his hard life that he lives of buccaneering, as he calls it. I don't think he has any face tattoos. I wish he could just have that over one eye.
advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throw, so that seems helpful. Naturally stealthy. I'm thinking between either a halfling or no, maybe a dwarf. Battle axe, hand axe. Dwarf and toughness. Part of me is really thinking gnome. Gnome cunning. Dexterity. So we're going to go with gnome for now. So we have forest gnome. Deep gnome. Rock gnome. But I'm thinking forest gnome makes the most sense. Even smaller than their cousins and twice as reclusive, forest gnomes are rare, a rare sight. In Faerun, they master magic and craftsmanship in their distant idyllic groves. Idyllic groves. So let's see, I kind of want to give this guy like a murder hobo vibe. I've heard that's a thing. We've heard the voices. We'll just stick with one for now. Let's see. Well, let me take off the facial hair just to see what he looks like without it. We have head one, head two, head three, head four, head five, and back to head one. Which one? Kind of this one, I think. One and two and four, I think, have the most. This guy kind of has a sinister look to him. So he's outside all the time. Do they have any green? Can I make this guy... You can also make him like a little goblin. Maybe decay. Let's give him this kind of weird, off-putting tone of, like, almost a dull gray. What's well, pallid? Yeah, let's do pallid. Looks a little more natural. We can give this guy demonic eyes. I don't know about that, but let's give him... We want this guy to be unsettling a bit. I'll just give him dark, dark eyes. Yeah, there's just black one. That's too much. Let's see, let's do the beard first. Maybe a long beard, that, okay, that's too much, I think. Almost kind of like the patchy, but yeah, let's go with something like this, and then let's see what we have for hair. We want something like unkempt. Maybe something simple like that. more feminine styles. I'm thinking long, long hair for all my characters apparently. That's kind of unkempt, but... <laughs> that one cracks me up, that'd be hilarious. Please leave a comment if you want me to give them a ridiculous hairstyle in the final game. I could potentially be convinced. And he's disappeared, folks. Uh, maybe. 
maybe that. Uh, that's like a worse version of that. Maybe that one would be better. I kind of like that one that's giving. Let's just go with this one. Facial hair. Maybe a dark brown. Oh, not that. So apparently I like to give all my characters dark. Dark hair. Seeing a trend kind of between all these characters now that I'm doing them back to back. I don't think any highlights. Maybe some graying, like how old is this guy? Might make sense for a druid to have tattoos. Something like that, kind of the reddish tone. I kind of like this reddish one, it's not too overdone either. Let's see, yeah, I like this darker one. Kind of like in the red hair as well. Let's see, eye color again we want. I almost feel like a really piercing blue. It's almost more scary than like dark. Let's do opal. Yeah. Okay, hairstyle. I don't, I'm not hating this hairstyle, but style. What gives the most unsettling vibes, but not, <laughs> not comical? Kind of like that one's serious. That's giving wilderness vibes. That one's the bangs are a bit unsettling. The blonde is kind of scary, but also kind of funny. Maybe. Maybe that one, 25A. I think maybe we want bangs to give kind of the vibe we're going for. 
say a 26B. Something about the bangs definitely does it. not super scary, but I guess this is what the female variant of the murder druid would look like. So, yeah, I'm going to make a poll after I post these two videos. So, if you didn't catch the other one, make sure to check it out. So, the options will be the succubus, the pirate, or the male or female murder druid, or dark urge druid, I think is what I'm going to call it. So, succubus, pirate, or dark urge druid. So, these are the options you have, and hopefully the poll will get a decent amount of votes, and... I will go with whichever one is the clear favorite. If it's all pretty close, I'll probably pick whichever one I think will be the most fun. But all three of these sound pretty appealing to me. But if you made it to this point in the video, I really do appreciate it. I hope you found it entertaining and relaxing. And if you did and you're not already subscribed, it would mean a lot if you did hit the subscribe button and bell icon as it helps my channel grow and yeah then you won't miss my future videos when I actually play through the game with one of these characters. But I hope you will come back and join me in the next one. Please go and vote on the poll on my community tab to choose one of these characters, and I will see you in the next one.